All right, today we're going to make homemade baby food, and I'm going to show you what you need to make baby food and talk a little bit about why it's better than store-bought baby food. The recipe we've got today is a simple mix of yams and avocados. And what you need for this is some yams, some avocados, a mixing bowl, a blender, some aluminum foil, and an ice cube tray. So we're going to start by preparing the yams. Now to cook the yams, the first thing you need to do is wash them off in water and then poke holes in them. And this is to help them so that they don't explode when you cook them. So I'm just going to poke, poke about maybe six or eight holes in each yam. this with all the yams and we cook them at about 400 degrees for about 35 to 45 minutes. It depends on the size of the yams and um, really you just want them to be soft inside. So we'll go ahead and finish it up then. Alright, so we've got all our yams done and now the last thing to do for this part is to just cook them. I put them in this glass uh, pan here because sometimes when you cook them, no matter how tight you've got them, the, some of the juices can leak out and then it gets all over your oven, so that's no good. So cook them in a glass pan or a cookie tray with edges or something to keep the juices under control. So we're going to cook these at about 400 degrees and uh, hopefully we'll have some good yams when they're done. Okay, our sweet potatoes are done. Looks like none of them leaked out, which is good. So now, Wrap it and slice it up here. Now, leaving the skins on, it's actually healthier for the baby if you leave the skins on. There's a lot of nutrients in the skins, so it's good to have those in there. And just going to slice them up and then put the pieces in the bowl and do that to all the potatoes here. You don't need to get the slices too small because really you're just getting them to the point where you can blend them up easily. Okay, that should do it. Put those in and then we'll start on the rest. Okay, so we've done all our sweet potatoes and uh, we've got a little bowl here full of all of the potatoes. And if you can come in, you'll know they're done uh, when you can easily stick a fork in like that if it just slides right in. That first one I cut up actually was a little not done enough and we put it back for a little while. But uh, the rest of them, yeah, if you can just slide your fork right in then you know they're done. So those are all ready to go. I've also trimmed off some of the bad stuff, which you can see here I found some, uh, some spots that were bad and just trimmed those right off. Anyway, now our sweet potatoes are done, we're going to move on to our avocados. To do these is really easy. We don't even cook them or anything. We just slice them in half. Take out the seed and scoop out the insides. Sometimes you'll find some darker spots, you can just scoop around those, but avocados are extremely healthy and uh, very good for your baby. So we'll just get this avocado taken care of and then do the rest. Okay, so we've got our avocados and our sweet potatoes and in the bowl you want to just mix things up a little bit. This isn't really uh, relevant to 
the activation process. It's just so that you can get a good mixture going when you finally blend them. Now our baby is about 11 months old, and so we don't uh, we don't keep things quite as liquid as we used to. But if you have a younger baby, in this process here, you can mix in some milk or some formula or some other things to kind of thin it out a little bit. But with our baby, he eats bigger chunks of food now. So we don't have to get things too finely blended or mixed. So now we've got this, this uh, mixture. And from here, dump the blender. Now, with the sweet potatoes, it's important to blend them like this because they're kind of stringy. And so you can't just cook them and then mash them up. Avocados, you could just cook and mash up, or just mash up if you want to. But the uh, yams and sweet potatoes, they're stringy. The babies can't really digest those little stringy portions as well. So that's where the blender is important. If you have other foods like pears, pears for instance, and bananas, you can just mash those right up and feed them to your baby. So we've got a nice little serving here. And going to start blending. Okay, so we're ready for the last step. We have this big bowl full of mush, and the reason we got ice cube trays, I actually had to get a second one, because I don't think one will be enough. But the reason we do this is so we can store it. Um, instead of just putting it in your freezer, or instead of putting it in your fridge, if you freeze them in ice cube trays, then you have little manageable chunks. So for instance, our son eats three cubes of food, per meal. And instead of opening up a jar and measuring out an ounce or two, we just un we just take out a couple cubes and it's all. And so that's his meal. So we're going to put them in the trays. Now I mentioned earlier the, the health aspects of this. Um, the reason that this is so healthy for your baby is you know exactly what's going into your food here and you know that the produce is fresh so you can go and select it yourself. We actually go to the uh, organic section of the grocery store to get this uh, food for our son and because we, we want to make sure that he's eating as, as healthy as he can. He actually eats a lot better than we do. And because you're in control of the whole process you know exactly what's going in here and you can also mix and match and so if your son isn't ready for one type of food, then you can just make uh, a whole batch of just sweet potatoes or just avocados or what have you. And when you freeze it, it, it really maintains its freshness really well. There's no preservatives in it, so it doesn't have to sit on a shelf in a jar. So uh, you end up with a, a lot of really healthy food for your baby that you've made yourself. So anyway, we're just going to finish up this ice cube tray here and then freeze them. Okay, so we're all done. We actually had almost three trays of food. Um, now he eats three cubes per meal, and the bill for this, all this avocados and yams was about nine dollars from the organic section even. And uh, for nine dollars he's getting almost 16 meals. And it comes out to about 60 cents a meal here, so of completely fresh produce. So it's about the same for fruits and other things too when we've averaged it out. So anyway, now we're ready to freeze them and then whenever he's ready to eat, we can just thaw a couple cubes and we're good to go. So thanks a lot.